fighting the boxers in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with gold waistband, fighting from Chicago, Illinois, and representing Don King's Productions, comes the challenger for the title, ranked number one by the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF. He comes to the ring tonight with a professional record of 24 victories, 17 by KO, and has just five losses in his 29 fight career. He weighs 231 and a quarter pounds, 16 stone, seven and a quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the atomic ball, Oliver McCoy. And in the red corner, wearing black trunks with red trim, uh, fighting out of his native East London. Uh, he is a former Olympic gold medalist whose professional record is undefeated in 25 contests, 21 coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his fourth defense of the title. He comes to the ring weighing 238 pounds, 17 stone even. He is the former undefeated heavyweight champion of Great Britain, the Commonwealth and Europe. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the WBC heavyweight Championship of the world. Lennox Lewis looking for the fourth defense of his WBC title. Of course, Lewis was handed the WBC belt when Riddick Bowe, as then undisputed champ, threw it away rather than facing McCoy. the big Brit. Odd scene here is Oliver McCall is not McCoy, listening to the referee here. to come out for the instructions. McCoy. Come on here, McCall. Come on here. Taking his time. Water, water, water. Lewis waits here, patiently. McCall. Quite noticeable in the pre-fight lead-up that Lewis was calm and McCall well, emotional. On Remember that the foul these compounds. Don't hit with the head. But to win the match, okay, no. Jose Guadalupe Garcia from Mexico, the referee here at Wembley Arena, 1 a.m. in the morning for Lennox Lewis's title defense against Oliver McCall. I'm Joe Tessator alongside the Iceman, John Scully. Ice Lewis is a big, big favorite in this fight. McCall is a sturdy and physical Chicago native, but a guy who back stateside best known as one of Mike Tyson's primary sparring partners and really doesn't have that signature win in his career to date that makes you think that he stands a big good chance against the formidable opponent Lennox Lewis. Well, that's the thing, really. I mean, I mean, I know about Oliver McCall, but the main thing that I know about him is that he used to give Mike Tyson a lot of trouble in the gym. That was that was his main claim to fame. So this is obviously the biggest if he could ever pull this off. This would be his biggest win to date. He um, he doesn't have, like you said, that signature win that would make you think he has any kind of chance. McCall is the WBC's number one contender. Trained by Manny Stewart. McCall tries to come in with the left hey, hook. Hey, Lewis hey. hooks him up behind the head and under the left arm. Of course, so much made of Lennox Lewis. He was born here in London, but raised in Jamaica and had Olympic glory in Canada. But now as a pro, he is back here in England where the reception has been somewhat lukewarm. I can see that. I mean, for all the time that I've known about Lennox since going back to about 1986, he was a Canadian boxer. And everything I know about Lennox is him as a Canadian. And actually, when he started boxing out of London and everyone was saying how he's a, a Brit, 
Um, it kind of surprised me. I was like, well, man, I, I know this guy from being on the Olympic team for Canada and fighting internationally for them. So I think, um, you know, he technically, I guess he's British, but uh, people probably see him as a, as a Canadian more than anything. Well, and he's got a real tough label to shed because it was only last year when he had that fight against Frank Bruno when he uncorked that huge left hand that changed the fight and he won by TKO. Bruno was being framed as the true Brent. Right. And Lewis was the guy who, yes, he had the upside. Yes, he had the undefeated record, but he's not one of us. Right, right. He was technically he was British in their eyes. And uh, Bruno was um, and Bruno was doing very well in that fight also up until the stoppage. Right. Do you like what Oliver McCall is doing here in round number one where he's trying to be a little more assertive and show Lewis that he can be a physical player? I think that that's one uh, good strategy against Lennox because Lennox, it's um, it's obvious he's a much bigger man to me. He's, he's very, uh, he's much taller and just seems more imposing. So I think Oliver can't stay on the outside and expect to win. So I like this, the way he's throwing punches and trying to take it to Lennox, backing him up. Lewis at times can be hesitant, can be a safety first counter puncher. When he utilizes that big jab, that's when he's at his best. Tries to come over the top with a right hand. And McCall, although not landing, is letting him know there's going to be something that returns at you. Not a bad opening stanza for Oliver McCall. Twenty-nine year old Oliver McCall with trainer Manny Stewart. Hold down for me. You're looking good, okay? Fighting a very intelligent fight, and you're taking his best punch away from him in the right hand. You shot it twice, and every time you roll and counter. You caught him with it once the next time, but you're going to make him quit throwing it if you keep rolling the count, okay? But when you, that little counter hook you're doing is working. It's, it's clumsy, but it's working. When he jams out, you know, you're blocking him, you're throwing a hook. Right. Keep doing it because it's not landing, but it's moving him out of balance. Right hand That's hand right, but you're moving him out of balance when you throw that shot, okay? So Manny Stewart wants to see the good countering. McCall endorses that, okay. saying, I'll look for the short right hand. Stay Meanwhile, Lennox the Lewis, the undefeated champ. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy there. Ten seconds, Ten seconds. hands him out, please. Stay on the stick. Keep it in the circle. When he's inside, try to catch him. Stay, stay, in. Right. stay on the stick. The command for Lennox Lewis. And you would have to think that if the big six foot five Lewis does stay busy working that jab, it'll be a very long and difficult night for Oliver McCall. Joe Tessitore alongside John Scully, Wembley Arena. Lewis now coming in. Flicks out that jab. Oh, it's a oh short my. right hand. A short right hand. That's Just what he called. That's what he said. <laughs> hey, and Lewis doesn't Eight. look good. Nine. This fight That's is it. over. It is over. What a shocker here in England. He called it perfect. Lewis is incredulous. McCall is celebrating. A new heavyweight champ. And it comes in stunning fashion with a second round knockout. John Scully, what did you make of that stoppage? I mean, he fell forward at the very last second. He was hurt. I mean, he protested it, but I get the impression that might have been uh, instincts taking over. Um, I mean, he was hurt. He was definitely hurt. He was unsteady for sure. Jose Guadalupe Garcia, the referee, looked at Lennox Lewis, tried to assess the situation. At that point, Lewis still was unsteady. He called the fight. He fell forward. He almost pushed the referee over. Counted out. And now Lewis, you can see, accepting the circumstances. Talk me through it, John. Well, I mean, he, he said it in the corner. I'm going to look for the short right hand. And, and he threw it, and there it is. Unbelievable that he, he called it perfectly. Right on the button. Good, solid shot. And it's amazing. He was calm in the corner. He, he said it matter-of-factly. I'm going to look for the short right hand. And uh, so he saw something, something obviously in the first round that, that led him to believe he could do that. First loss in the career of Lennox Lewis. And all those plans of a mega unification fight of the more lucrative big-time showcases against heavyweight contenders or even Michael Moore, heavyweight champ.
They are now out the window. Lennox Lewis has been defeated. What a stunner. There's the man who did it, Jose Guadalupe Garcia. He reached the count of nine. Lewis was still falling forward a bit. Some will say it was a quick stoppage. Oliver McCall doesn't care. Tears of joy as he celebrates with trainer Manny Stewart. Oliver McCall is the new WBC heavyweight champ. Let's get the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, after 31 seconds of round two, the referee has counted out Lennox Lewis, the winner and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Oliver McCall. The man known as the Atomic Bull just exploded and gored the big Brit. Oliver McCall is your new WBC heavyweight champ.